That's what God's will is for us. The process. Many of us don't want the process. Neither did I. Many are called and few are chosen. We abort the process to what it takes to get chosen. So we stay in between called and chosen until no longer we can even get the mission. Because we're not doing the fundamental things of being a Christian. Like D-Mob said, you're not called to be a rapper. You're just not. I can do many things. People say, you know, who are you? I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a minister, I'm a mentor, I'm, I, can, I can lay towel, I can, I can tear a building down, build it from the ground, I can do anything. And see, the problem is, is Satan, that's all that he wants us to do. He takes it and distorts it. And remember, his great passion is music. So now, we have to be even more praying. So if you ain't praying all in, without ceasing, you can forget about it. So when we look at guys like Lecrae and, them and, and, and envy them in your heart, and you ain't going to raise your hand, but you wish your ministry was like his, we don't know what he went through. See, God gave him that because he's responsible. You ain't heard nothing about Lecrae. But that comes with a lot of pain. Amen. Trust me. Amen. Now, let me see. Okay, now this is the process. So again, let me go back. I had to get a job working for Coca-Cola. Again, I, I wasn't married, had a kid out of wedlock. I didn't want to miss that. Trying to work this thing out, never been discipled. Thinking being a Christian is being a churchian. Just go to church, play the rules, still make beats for whomever. So I had no idea what it was. One day I'm at Coca-Cola, and this is actually a job, not like Laverne and Shirley. It is literally a job for you to sit here and watch every pop can go by. And my job was to make sure I had the shelves that the pop drop into. And so one day, I'm throwing shelves and I ran out. I'm like, all right, Ben, I can chill out now for about an hour because it's the high lows job to bring me the shelves that the manufacturer has for me to keep this line going. What we tend to do, and God, he showed me, he says, see how patient you are waiting for that high low to come with those shelves to drop that pop into? I need you to be like that for me when I have you to do something for me. Don't be pressing my buttons when it ain't time for me to supply you with what you need to do what you're supposed to do. I didn't hop off of my station running my supervisor. Hey, I, don't have, I don't have no trades. What's up? I can't do my job. I need, I need some trades right now. I sat patiently and waited. What we tend to do, we get upset and anxious because we don't have the supplies to do what he said to do. It's like Moses when he went, met, met the Red Sea. Everybody else was tripping. He says, shh. Be still and see the salvation of the Lord. He waited till he got there and said, okay, God, it's on you. And then God gave him the instructions. But with us, that's how you know if the motive is pure, when we fret, when we don't have something to do his job. So if you don't have, to, if you don't have this, we don't have the CDs to press, oh, let me go play with my son. Let me go get another activity to do. Let me take my wife out to eat. And because it's God, it's your problem. I mean, my wife, we wanted to go on a family vacation and we didn't have the money. So she comes out, oh, baby, I just, I really want to go on a trip, but we don't have the money. And I hugged her, I said, yes, yeah. I'm glad I let that one go to the Lord, because I ain't even worried about it. Because <laughs> I want her to understand, we put too much pressure on ourselves. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm not the provider, I work. <laughs> he is the provider, that's his title. Yes, sir. And I, I want to get deeper even on that. I could go to the priest, provider, and protector. Right. It's just too much. It's, that stuff is ridiculous. The alliterations right. that we say that motivate people and it's killing men. That's, right. that's, that's why right. the majority of brothers have heart attacks. That's right. At younger ages. We're not the protector. God is the protector. People, David said, when he faced Goliath. I know men sit in their house and guys break in and kill everyone. That's right. It's ridiculous. But it's all the devils, the evil one, just tricking us, getting us fooled off in our own world. And again, that's why I was torn, because the Lord wants us to be free from that. Now the process, Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am the Lord. I train in martial arts, and I, that's later on in the slide. We have to sit still and wait for the blow to come in our face before we can move. The biblical principle I teach my boys be anxious for nothing. Yeah. See, when you can be still and know that he is the Lord, 
We don't worry no more. I run a nonprofit organization. We got our own status, nonprofit status. I don't know when they're gonna cut a grant. When they was gonna, we cut, we lost some funding. I said, let's move our offices right now because we can't afford it. Everyone was worried. I said, no. When I went to move everything out, the manager of the building says, you're not going nowhere. You stay here until you get some more money. Because I trust it. That's his problem. That's not my problem if I don't have an office. I can still do work in my basement. I'm not taking on the weight this is. That's, that hit my shoulders on broad enough. That's for the Lord. Amen. So I gave him that. I went, no lie, I'm outside loaded, and the manager comes, what, what are you doing? You didn't get a call from such and such. I said, no. He says, you're not going nowhere. Move all that stuff back upstairs. <laughs> Another thing, when you're anxious, remember this, it's, and this is just being real, it's usually not that we're concerned that he will not be exalted. It's more so that when we get recognized for our dream, when we get known for the hard work that we're doing, when people see the great things that we're doing for the kingdom. Because if we sit in this, because this is the second week, we're, we're classic at quoting half scriptures. This is the first part of the verse, second part, I will be exalted among the nations and in the earth. So basically, chill out, stop worrying, stop fretting. If your CD gonna drop, you don't have money for studio time, any of that, I am going to be exalted. Because the reason you're supposed to be doing that is for me to be exalted. So if you can't, if you, it's not there right now, don't trip. Because I am, I will be exalted in this earth and throughout the nations. The process. Oh, that's another slide. Hold on, let me go here. Okay, good. This blessing, he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. When I studied this, I found out what it takes to make silver. And a lady asked the silversmith, she says, how do you know when silver is ready? He says, I heat it and I beat it, I heat it and I beat it and I rub it. And she, she says, but it's not until I can see my reflection in it that it's ready. So during this time in my life when I'm working hard slaving, he was putting me in the fire, taking me back out. Beating me, shaping me, putting me back in, taking me back out. That's the process we have to learn to appreciate as ministers. Read Jeremiah 20. To me, that's the perfect chapter in the Bible for a minister because it's going to go up and it's going to go down. But what's going to keep you there is that fire inside of you that you can't shut up. Amen. Another passage I love, it says, For you, O God, tested us. You refined us like silver. We have to accept the process. I believe, I don't know a lot about Lecrae, but I believe he went through the process because I see the fruit. And so I prayed for him one day when he was here at your concert. I prayed against the women or whomever else may come at him and he, it tripped him out because I don't know if he got the right people around him. May tell him that because all of them need people praying for them. Like that. That's real talk. Here I'm going up to him like, look, how you dealing with these women coming on you? Because he's a good looking brother, tall. He's anointed. When we, it kills me when we, a guy will tell me Lecrae is talented. Uh, it basically den uh, uh, denouncing the fact that he's anointed. Like that's what, I said, no. I said the brother is talented and anointed. And if you mix those two with some good looks, you got some problems if you're not having the right man around you. The process. So after leaving Coca-Cola, and that's a whole other testimony because I don't want to be too long. I almost died on that job because I blasted.